Let's take a look at a domain or room effect that will end up being very important to you. This is called an R box. On the screen you see a shed perhaps. This is just a uh, structure I've made using an R box. Let me show you what that looks like in the editor. Here's the domain in question. Floor height of 0, ceiling height of 128, effect of R box. And when we look at the walls, we see that they just have their front as the domain of the R box, which you can see down here is one. And then I chose a, a texture, Metal 49, which gives it that uh, corrugated metal look. Let's go back and look at our box again. Here's the ceiling of it. Now you may wonder why didn't we just use a regular domain and raise the floor up. Well let me show you something fun you can do with this that you can't do with a regular domain. Go back into the editor. Let's make this um, 192. I'll make this 64. So the bottom of the R box is now 64 and the height uh, the, the top of the R box is 192. Let's save this and load it. Now you'll notice we have a floating box which if we crouch down we can crawl under. This cannot be done with your standard domains. So let's quickly reproduce this We'll go into the editor and let's delete these walls. And we'll delete the domain. Here we have the empty domain. So let's go into the editor and let's start making our box. So we'll click Add to add a new domain. We're going to give it the effect R box. We'll make the ceiling height 192. Well, actually, let's reproduce the first box initially. So it's 128, floor of 0. And let's give the ceiling um, That should be enough for the domain. Now we'll go to the walls and we want to make sure that the front is pointing to domain 1, which our new domain is domain 1. And let's use Metal 49 as the texture. And we'll make this a little bit bigger than the other. If we zoom in, you'll notice that the little nibs are pointing in. So actually, the back of this R box is pointing out into the rest of the room. That's just how these are made. So we have what looks like a uh, nice little R box. So let's save this, load it, go back to the editor, and there we have it. We have a uh, metal shed of some sort. No doors, but we have a metal shed. Now if we want to raise that up, we select the R box 
and we'll make the ceiling 192 and then 64 for the um, floor. We'll save that, load it, and now we have a floating shed that we can crawl under. That is the beginning of how to work with our boxes. There's much more, however, this will get you started. Good luck.